Hi guys, welcome to Workout with Di and it's time for another workout. So this week's workout, we're going to start off with 100 jump ropes, then you're going to come to air squats, plank toe taps, clean and press, and in out abs. We're going to do three rounds and each of the bottom four exercises, you're going to do 20 reps the first set, then the 15, and then the 10. So you're going to need your jump rope, a body bar or weights, some kind of weighted bar and a mat. Starting off with the jump rope, let's go. So I'm really trying to include a lot of jump rope lately into my workouts. Really helps with some nice cardio, some good impact as well, which is good for your bone strength. I actually just ordered a new jump rope. Um, I wanted a longer one. This one's just not quite long enough. It's just a little bit short on me, so make sure you get a jump rope that's appropriate for your height. When you've done those hundred, you're going to come to an air squat. And for the air squat, I'm going to have my arms overhead. I'm going to try and get the butt down so that that hip crease is lower than the knee. Sit the butt back, lift the chest up. I always try and do something different with my body weight squats. So rather than having the hands on the hips, you can have those arms in front like last week with the zombie squats. Or you can have the hands on the head like a, a prisoner squat. Um, or, you know, there's this option, which is also works well if you're going to progress to an overhead squat or anything like that. You want to open out the chest, lift the arms up. So we're doing 20 reps here. Keeping the core engaged, abs are up. Alright, so after the body weight squats, you're going to come down. You're going to do a plank on the elbows and then touch the toes out to each side. So right and left counts as one. So you see here I keep my hips level with my shoulders. So the hips aren't moving up and down. And they're also not moving side to side. You're going to try and get as little movement as possible in the hips. And notice the arms as well. Try and keep the arms separated, the forearms separated. So that you are holding a box between the arms. So try not to bring those hands towards each other. Really try and fight to keep the arms out, just to keep the shoulders in a little better alignment. Really focus on your breathing. Okay, then you're gonna come up and we're going to grab that bar and do a clean and press. So those fingers, thumbs, are thumb distance from the thighs, and you're going to put the bar down and then reach up. So you're still doing that squat, sitting the butt back. And if you can't reach the floor, that's fine. Aim for a range of motion that works for you. So keep the bar nice and close to your body. So always lead in with the elbows. Just so keep the elbows nice and safe. Pulling the belly in again, protecting the lower back. So remember in this round is the first round and that means we're doing 20 reps of each of these exercises. It's always interesting to look at the videos and just see where your form is lacking. I always tend to notice a few things when I video my workouts. Alright, so once the clean and press is done, you're going to come down for an ab exercise, another ab exercise, we're going to do in-outs. 
So you're going to balance on your butt and then you're going to open and close. So the knees come out, extend through the legs and then hug the knees into the chest. I always try and touch my toes here and lean in as far back as is comfortable. always listen to your body. For me, this isn't much of a range of motion in the upper body. It's just not comfortable for me. It's due to some, my kidney just doesn't feel comfortable leaning too far back. So again, listen to your body. Always do what is comfortable. Don't push it too far. If you feel any pain, then that means you're pushed a little too far. All right, so we're going to be doing that jump rope again. Um, we're going to do 100 again. Now, if you could do double unders here, you can do double unders. That's fine. I am working on my double unders, and I'll show you some footage of that at the end of this video. I am finally, finally, finally being able to get at least a couple of double unders. At least there's some progress. Alright, so we're going to come back to that air squat. So this time you're going to be doing 15. Arms are up. And then sit back. Pulling the belly in. It's always interesting that the arms always influence like your focus, as soon as you focus on keeping the arms up, like your depth tends to go a little, your, your technique tends to fail somewhere else, and then as soon as you focus on like the lower half technique, your arms just fall forward or they fall out, so you really have to focus to keep everything tied in together. Right, coming down onto the floor. Really trying to stabilize through the core, no movement, as little as movement as possible in the hips and definitely no movement in the shoulders. So you've got that elbow right underneath the shoulder, forearm in front on the floor. And again, those hands separated at shoulder width. Sure you keep breathing, always breathing throughout the exercises. Okay, then coming up, coming back to that clean and press, thumb distance from the thighs, bar up, overhead, down and release. So this is the new body bar that I ordered last week. Um, it's a cat barbell, bar, uh, weighted bar, and this is the 20 pound bar, which I believe is the heaviest that cat barbell does, or at least it's the heaviest that they have on Amazon. Um, but I bought it just to practice body pump with, just, you know, I can just leave it out rather than get the whole barbell and the plates and everything out. It's just more convenient to practice with. I think this one was around $35, $40, which is pretty reasonable. I'll put a link on my blog so you can check it out online. But Amazon, two-day shipping, cannot beat it. Love me some Amazon. Alright, so come down. Extending out through the legs, opening through the chest. So core training is another area that I'm really trying to work on. Because of my kidney issue, I really seem to be weak in my core lately. Um, so I'm really trying to focus on getting some core training done, at least one exercise every workout. 
So if you have a weak spot, that's what you need to be training. Okay, so the next portion you're going to find a speeded up version because I screwed up. I did my jump rope and everything was going fine and then as soon as I finished the jump rope, I went straight down onto the floor. And then I immediately thought, okay, this isn't right. But I carried on anyway, just so that I'd done an extra round. And it was a good job I carried on because I was screwing up the reps as well. For some reason I got it into my head that I was doing 15 again. And instead, no, I should have been doing 10. So that's a good lesson as well. If you go wrong, either stay with it or move on. Okay, so then I come back. So I've done another set here. And then we come back to the 100 jump ropes. So remember, this is just a suggestion. You know, I always say this, that the workouts are a suggestion. So like, I've done 100 jump ropes. If you can't do 100, then just do 50. Always listen to your own body. If you're not ready for 100, just do 50. The reps I've done here, I've done 20, then 15, then 10. If you're not ready for 20, then don't do 20. Just do the 10 or the 15 and start from there. Maybe you're ready for 15 and then 10 and then 5. Always listen to your own body. Everybody's going to be different. All right, coming down into the squat. So also, I mean, maybe for you, going from the jump rope to a squat isn't particularly comfortable. So maybe for you, you're doing jump rope and then the plank toes in and out, and then you come to the squat. You don't have to do every exercise. Like here, I have the clean and press. Well, maybe you don't have a bar. So choose something else, put something else in there, or just take it out completely. And maybe rather than do three sets of work, do four. Well, it's great to do these videos. Just remember that they are suggestions. Nothing is written in stone. bar is a 20 pound bar like I said and it is kind of light for a clean and press for me so that's why I increase the range of motion to touch the floor usually for body pump or anything like that classes you would only go far to the knees but I added the range because it was a little lighter I needed a little more of a challenge so that's always a modification if you need it. Just come bring the bar down to the knees rather than to the floor. But I am trying to increase my weights a little as well. Okay, so in out. And that's this week's workout, guys. So here's my double unders. Just a little practice. I always like to do a little practice just because, you know, it's good to get out of your box, get out of your comfort zone. This time, this time, Di, come on. And I think I was so shocked that I'd done it. But I kept on trying. But I like seeing this in slow-mo because I can see where I'm going wrong. My elbows are coming too far out, my arms are coming too far out. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe in my channel. I put out new workout videos every Wednesday. Bye!